So you need to really be wise in choosing your association, in choosing people that you relate with. Welcome to today's DDRX. We're looking at the prescription, say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. We need to learn to proclaim the blessings, declare the blessings before God can confirm them. And every blessing must line up with the scripture. So blessings flow through right association. Humans are created for fellowship or association. You cannot live alone. In fact, no human can make it alone. God uses human network as a channel to bless or to promote. So you need the right association. Proverbs 13 verse 20 says, He who works with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will be destroyed. So some associations are for entertainment. Some are for education. Some are for edification. Some are for enhancement of blessings. And I want to thank God for the different associations, relationships I've had over the years that have really blessed me. You know, we also read about Laban and Jacob. Laban knew his association with Jacob brought tremendous blessings into his life. In Genesis 30 verse 27, and Laban said to Jacob, please stay if I find favor in your eyes, for I've learned by experience that the Lord has blessed me for your sake. This is after Jacob had served him for 20 years and Laban knew from experience of 20 years that through this relationship, God had really blessed him. So you need to really be wise in choosing your association, in choosing people that you relate with. Even though blessings are hanging over you, hanging around you, hanging over your destiny, but you need the right association to bring them into physical manifestation. Watch your association. God bless.